Hi guys, hi guys, God bless, God bless. I'm going to start the book of Proverbs tonight. Hallelujah. I know we went through Ecclesiastes and we're still going through the Psalms. Um, the Psalm is a big book, so um, it's going to take some time, but we're almost, almost through. Hallelujah. I think I'm on 87 on the Psalms, but um, I thought it'd be a good time to start the Proverbs. I'm going to just read the the um not chapter one yet but i'm going to read the in introduction to proverbs the author in occasion just to give you a review i didn't do that with the other books um i should have but i didn't um i i have this new uh bible study bible so i thought it would be appropriate to to read this stuff for you guys um ahead of time to get a little bit more understanding of what we're going to be reading amen Amen. So the introduction to Proverbs, it says, as the preface to the book states, Proverbs is about wisdom. On one level, wisdom is a skill of living, a practical knowledge. Wise people know how to say the right thing at the right time and to do the right thing at the right time. They live in a way that maximizes blessings of themselves and others in the world that God created but as a deeper level a uh, deeper level wisdom is more profound than an ability to navigate life well indeed it begins with a a proper attitude towards God characterized excuse me by fear this is not the type of fear that makes someone run away but it is more than res more than respect. It is the awe that a person should feel when in the presence of the sovereign creator of the universe. Proverbs is a book about wisdom and it intends to make its reader wise. Amen. The book of Proverbs is associated with Solomon, Israel's wisest king. He, his writings or his teachings put into writing by a scribe. From most of the book, it was revealed in 1 Kings chapter 4, 32, that Solomon spoke 3,000 proverbs. And it is good to have the book of Proverbs to see what he was teaching. A few additional short sections come from other contributors Anonymous writers, chapter 22, um, verses 17 um, through 24, inch and 22. Oh, I'm sorry. Chapters 22, 17, and chapter 24, 22, but through those, so you should read 23 as well. Um, Agur, A G U R, chapter 30, and Lemuel. Chapter 31. Amen. Occasion. The purpose of this book of Proverbs is stated in chapter 1, 2 through 3 to provide Mom. wisdom that when Mom. applied will lead to a godly life. Okay, so we're going to start chapter 1. And I'm going to do a little prayer before um, I start reading it. Um, the title is Instruction and Extert Exhortation to Sons. Amen. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for presenting this word tonight for us to read the Proverbs, Father. This is what came to my heart to read with with um, our fellow saints and, and, and friends watching. I pray that you will open up our minds and hearts to, to receive the wisdom of Proverbs. In Jesus' name, Amen. 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 And it says this book um, teaches you how to be wise on uh, a more spiritual aspect. Amen. And uh, I'm going to read in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And it says, The Proverbs of Solomon, the son of David, king of Israel, to know wisdom and instruction, to perceive the words of understanding. To receive the instruction of wisdom, justice, and judgment, and equality. To give stability 
to the simple, to the young man knowledge and discretion. Discretion. A wise man will hear and will increase learning, and a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsels. To understand a proverb in the in interpretation, the words of the wise in their dark sands. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. My son, hear the instruction of the father, and forsake not the law of thy mother. For they shall be an ornament of grace unto thy head, and chains about thy neck. My son, if sinners entice thee, consent thou not. If they say, Come with us, let us lay wait for blood, let us lurk privily for the innocent without cause. Let us swallow them up alive as the grave, and whole as those that go down into the pit. We shall find all precious substance. We shall find our houses with spoil. Cast in thy lot among us. Let us all have one purse. My son, walk not though in the way with them. Refrain thy foot from their path. For their feet run to evil and make haste to shed blood surely in vain the net is spread in the sight of the of any bird and they lay wait for their own blood they lurk privily for their own lives so are the ways of every one that is greedy of gain which taketh away the life of the owners thereof wisdom crieth without she uttereth her voice in the streets she crieth in the chief place of concourse in the opening of the gates in the city she utterly uttereth her word saying how long ye simple ones will ye love simplicity and the scorners delight in their scorning and fools hate knowledge turn you at my reproof behold i will pour out my spirit unto you I will make known my words unto you, because I have called, and ye refused. I have stretched out my hand, and no man regarded. But ye have set in not all my counsel, and would not none of my reproof. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. When your fear cometh as desolation, and your desolation cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you. Then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. For they, I mean, for that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. They would none of my counsel. They despise all my reproof. Therefore shall they eat of the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices. For the turning away of the simple shall slay them, and the pro prosperity of fools shall destroy them. But whoso hearken unto me shall dwell safely, and shall be quiet from fear of evil. Amen, amen. Glory to God. It says, the opening verse establishes the credibility of the proverbs in this book by identifying them with Solomon, the wisest man, except for Jesus Christ, who ever lived. When Solomon took the throne, God gave him a wise and an understanding heart, so that there was none like thee before thee, neither after thee, after thee shall any arise like unto thee. 1 King 3.12 Fear connotes not only terror but also extreme reverence respect and awe as well as recognition of the fact that we are completely reliant on god fear of the lord brings humility a lack of pride in a willingness to listen to him rather than seek our own way wisdom brings when a child listens to his father and mother the word here is is in this text 
carries the idea of listening with the intent to obey. The implication here is that the parents are themselves wise and godly people. The greatest threat any young person faces as um, is that of being deceived into falling in with a group of people who do not love what God loves. The warning is clear. The goal is not to get as close to a sinful lifestyle as possible, as possible and see how much of your Christian virtues you can keep. The goal is to stay off the path altogether. Try to stay off the path of sin. Hallelujah. It is foolish to try to trap a bird by setting any trap while a bird is watching. It is just as foolish to try to prove, um, profit illegally if you follow this path. You will self-destruct. Despite the attributes of the simple ones, scorners, and fools, wisdom continues to speak to them with a strong message of mercy. If you seek wisdom, it will not run from you. Those who have chosen folly do not do so out of ignorance. They have made a conscious decision to do things their own way rather than doing things God's way. Hallelujah. The foolish will experience the pain and misery that comes from doing things their own way, while the wise will enjoy security, freedom from fear. Amen, amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Beautiful word tonight. Lots of information. Glory to the mighty God. Hallelujah. May we all observe these words of the Lord and take every word seriously. Amen. The Bible will give us everything we need how to follow the Lord and to be upright and to walk righteously. Hallelujah. But it's up to us to make the decision to stay following the Lord's word. Following the word of God is freedom. Alright. Amen. Keep that in mind, guys. The words of wisdom, we are starting. The Proverbs. Hallelujah. Beautiful reading tonight. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for this word tonight. It touched me, and I hope it touched everyone who's watching and receiving your mighty word of edification. May we all observe your word and, and meditate and pray on it. And may you strengthen us to follow your words, Father.